right, just a quick disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Um, I am kind of disappointed in this knife. This is a knife from a company we've never seen before, and I don't want Tecto Gear to take this too harshly because it's a type of knife that I typically don't like anyway. So it just has some of the same issues that I find with a lot of those knives. So at any rate, let's turn this around and take a look at this knife from above. All right, guys, this is a knife from a company I've never seen on the channel before, and I don't think I've even heard of them. This is the Tecto Gear A4 Humvee, and it is an OTF switchblade. Please don't argue with me on that terminology, switchblade. If it comes out like that, that's a switchblade. Um, this is a unique knife, and here's the cool thing about it. This knife... I thought was just going to be another one that you guys gave me a bunch of crap about being a Chinese made knife. This is made in Portland, Maine. It's made from U.S. and imported parts. So Tecto is a company I really haven't heard of. So let's get this box out of the way and talk about the knife. So Jared sent this to me and I'm not I'm not going to be super critical. But, uh, it mainly you guys are going to be like, what would you be super critical about? I don't like OTFs really to speak of. A lot of times I find them to be impractical. They're usually not the best choice. They're going to have some issues. This is a big, beefy one with a central button as opposed to a lot of the OTFs like the Ultratech that you're going to see a little bit later for comparison. Um, they're on the side here. There are a few of the Microtechs that have them in the middle. Benchmade has... Uh, they're infidels that have them in the middle, which I find to be a really good spot for the button because you don't have to change position for how you're going to use it. You know that these knives have a distinct specific purpose. This is a dagger grind with serrations on one side, uh, which already puts it at a deficit because you guys know I don't like half and half. I don't like serrations. If you're going to do it, do one side fully serrated and one side flat. Uh, these are aluminum hard, kale, hard coat scales with a deep carry pocket clip that I have found nice in and out of pocket. does have a glass breaker on the back. There's jimping everywhere on us. And on these knives, I'm not as opposed to that because the way you're going to hold this knife. You're going to hold this knife like this. You're going to hold it like this. You want jimping, especially on fairly smooth anodized contoured aluminum handles. It's going to give you a little bit better grip. Uh, these were designed to be tactical knives. I really don't find them to be tactical. Uh, blade on this is ground very well. Uh, I don't see a lot of issues with daggers. A lot of times have this central ridge is off center. This one is just spot on on both sides, which typically you'll see one side is done really well and then the other one isn't. So they did a really good job with it. It does have a fuller down the middle black coated blade with your with your markings on it where it tells you the humvee now this thing is snappy the action on this is very good it is comparable to a lot more expensive knives and i did look this up because i was trying to find some information in the company um so this one we're not flying into 100 percent blind these are 212 dollars, which is not a bad price for an otf most of your otfs like your microtex you're pushing the 400 450 sometimes $500 range. Uh, this thing is, it's a bit, it's a big beefy handle and everything. It's, it seems to be really comfortable so far in hand. So, uh, and like I said, for as snappy as that action is, the, the spring tension isn't horrible. You're not having to deal with too much. And like I said, it has been a reliable, I have not had a misfire with it yet. I did give it a, a drop of, uh, KPL ultralight, on both the blade and the button just to give it the best chance you can see there's a little bit of extra uh, lubrication on there so it seems to be doing really really well it does come with a belt sheath which a lot of knives don't come with these these days but this one i would absolutely recommend it and i'll tell you why because now that we've done a good look at this um oh well i wanted to mention it it's it's moderately sharp I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we'll save that for the other side of the review but uh yeah it seems to be pretty well built so far this first day but there's a laundry list of things that i don't like about this and that i find problematic with this and a lot of times they're just across the board with otf so you guys go ahead watch a quick ad from this video sponsor and i will bring you back and we'll talk about the negatives Guys, did you know that Coffee Brand Coffee has more than just awesome 
on-demand roasted coffees and flavored coffees. They also have tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and they have premium candies that will make your family go nuts. So check them out with the link down below to save 10% on some of the best coffee you're going to find. Yeah, guys, make sure you go check out Coffee Brand Coffee. They're a big sponsor for the channel. Okay, so negative things on this. This is heavy. This is heavy and it's big and bulky. And the problem I see with it being so big and bulky is you don't necessarily need big and bulky. It is not significantly larger blade wise. You don't have that much more blade than what I have in a much more reasonably sized Microtech Ultratech. This is a full size Ultratech Tonto. Um, action is comparable. This is so much lighter and so much smaller in pocket than this so just you know you've, you've got what looks to be a, a big beefy knife and then when you deploy it you, you've got this kind of mediocre size blade blade the blade's not sharp this thing is not sharp uh i it does not look like it's had any cutting done on it so i'm going to go ahead and say that this is the way it came from the factory you can see the edge is just completely missing all the way up here and i would imagine that's something that's happening inside. So their their clearance has not been dialed in on this. Uh, so you can see that basically what I'm seeing is that this is dragging on its way down through the handle all the way down. You can see the edge is just missing and then there at the tip it is. The serrations, absolutely worthless. They're not very good serrations. And then you have the same issue with the edge here that you had on the other one where it's just it's not very sharp here it's kind of sharp but you can see not sharp it's not real comfortable in pocket because it is kind of bulky and it sits really deep and then that leads you to the next thing i don't like glass breakers even though i like this knife a lot i don't like the glass breaker on it they are sharp they are uncomfortable and they're gonna dig into your side and i'm gonna tell you right now just my hand i don't like it like every time I've reached for this knife, that has poked me. If this was my knife, I would immediately take this out to the grinder and put this on my, my knife grinder. And I would knock that thing completely rounded over, flatten it off, marry it up with this and just get rid of it. Glass breakers, for the most part, are worthless, which is why I would say definitely you're going to want to use this so that you can carry this without cutting yourself because then you can put this in your pocket like that you could put it like this so that you're not like jamming your hand into that glass breaker which is not even trying to exaggerate guys it's incredibly sharp um it's 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 milled down to that very very sharp point so and and then there's just the fact that i don't recommend otfs for most people first of all a lot of places they're illegal second of all they're usually not a good EDC option. I mean, there are really good ones. Like I said, this, this is a very good knife. It's very sharp. It doesn't have any issues where it doesn't cut the way I want. It does a very good job. But that is not the norm when it comes to, to OTFs and especially daggers. And then, like I said, when you see that it's just not sharp. Overall, so far, first day in pockets, I'm going to have to say I've got to make a judgment on this. And, you know, we're going to look at our scale. Is it a yup or a nah? I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it some time but right now. First day. That's a no. Nah. I don't think I would buy it. even though like, I know it's a newer company and please tech to tech to gear. Don't take this the wrong way. Like don't, I don't lambast me. I would love to see if, if you've got other knives, I would love to see how some of those are. I'm just one, not a fan of OTFs and some of the issues that happen in OTFs have definitely occurred here. This is not an uncommon thing. That is, that's not sharp at all. Like that's not sharp. Like I'm, I would not do that with this knife. So with that being said, guys, turn us around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. There you go, guys. Uh, this is this has its definite good points. They did some really good work on this. But the problems I found with it are ones that are just kind of typical with OTF knives. So Tecto Gear, like I said in the intro, not trying to bust your balls. Um, I would love to see if you've got, I have not looked at the full website. I just happen to look this one up for a specific purpose. So... Um, I would absolutely love to see more of the stuff if Jared sends some more, because this came from Jared over at Neves Knives. So basically that's it on this one. We'll give it, I'm going to give it the full, I'm going to give it the full chance. I'm probably going to sharpen it and, and see how it fares and stuff like that. So, 
Uh, with that being said, you guys know there was an ad, so I've got sponsors. Check out the sponsors. Primarily Coffee Brand Coffee. They have been awesome to deal with. Their coffee's amazing. No politics. No, and they have a money-back guarantee. Uh, I also have got Tempered Trail. Those two have got discounts built into their links. 10% off when you use them. Use those links. Uh, I also have got a coupon code that will save you 10% at Farron Forge Knife Works, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, 10% at Katsu Knives, and 40% at Beyond EDC Knives. There's links to most of the major vendors down below. If you're gonna buy knives, please use those. I've got some new ones. The, the QSP one is now working. I fixed that link. Uh, so if you're gonna use it, I actually get credit for it. Uh, I also have an Amazon store. You could take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for all the Amazon shopping you're gonna do. I've got a membership down below. You join the membership and you get in on exclusive content, uh, premium sharpening tutorial series. Uh, the uh, giveaways that I do and a private discord. Plus there is a public discord down below in the description. It says, join the discord, join that. You can hang out and you can ask me questions directly via DM if you want to. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you. I'll keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.